Secure to Love grew in three years. We do art publications, right? A lot of artists want books and not a lot of institutions have the banking to do it. We do. We do museum and gallery curatorial, and it's different for different spaces for very obvious reasons. We also do something that's artist services specifically, where instead of figuring out what the art world can provide for the artist, we figure out what the artist wants and how to use the tools of the art world to give that to the artist, whatever it might be. And lastly, we do something that's called corporate curatorial, which is so much fun because whereas museums have four years to create an exhibition, in the corporate realm, it could be a weekend, right? I've had that conversation where a corporation calls me and is like, hey, we need an exhibition with 60 artists. Can you do it by Friday? And it's like Tuesday afternoon. Because I was unpacking what it means to be brown in the United States, because I was unpacking what it means to be an essential part of the population of the United States, then all of this kind of converged to undocumentedness. I had these great conversations with amazing professors who were like, well, you're already thinking about that. You should be thinking about this in a larger context. Who you come in as day one being isn't who you will graduate to become, right? On day one, I wanted to be a curator at a museum. When I graduated, I had my own company and now I work globally in all of these amazing curatorial projects. So be open to the possibility, be open to the knowledge, and be open to all of what the professors are going to be pushing you towards. And as long as you're capable of innovating and not being too scared to think outside of the box, it'll be a great, great couple of years.